Alright, so what's going on guys? My name's CG Build and welcome back to another video. Alright, so today we're going to be looking at some switches from Akko. The Akko CS Silver switches. So if you know of Akko and own or have watched any content of their switches, then you know that they're usually really cheap and usually really smooth stock. And these silver switches are the newest that they sell at the moment. And let me tell you, these are my go-to switch for now on. I love Daco Reds. Talked about them so much and used them in a lot of builds. But these new silver switches are so nice. I'm going to go over everything about these and give you a sound test of lubed, unlubed, different keycap profiles, and different plates as well. Yeah, this took a while to record. Very tedious. But let's get to know these switches. Alright, so the Akko Silver Switches. These are a linear switch, 3-pin design, with a short pre-travel of 1mm, and is one of the fastest Akko switches they offer. Now keep in mind, they do say they're the best for gaming, which is great. But the typing experience is just as good, if not better, than most switches. They come as a 45 piece set for 14 bucks. Now, this price isn't as good as the normal $10 that we're used to seeing from the CS switches, but I do feel like these offer more than those. But it, I mean, it's only $4 more, and I, I don't know, in my opinion, I do feel like it's worth it. The stem is made up of palm with a dust proof style look. The top housing is polycarbonate, which is like that see through look. The bottom housing is nylon. I'm assuming the spring is stainless steel. They don't actually say that, but I mean, it's not gold plated and the most common one is stainless steel. So I mean, I'm just guessing. And the leaf is copper alloy. Testing the stem wobble, there isn't a lot of movement, mainly because of the dust proof stem, which is awesome to see. Now I want to give you a stock lube comparison of just the switch without the keyboard. Now the only difference is that it's not as pingy. I don't know how well you, this picked up on audio, but in person they sound really good stock. I would almost say you don't even need to lube them if you really don't want to. All Akko CS switches seem this way, but silvers might be the best. Now I'm going to show you a stock sound test of these switches in a keyboard. As you can hear, they are pretty damn smooth. But enough about the stock experience, let's go ahead and lube these. First, I want to say that they're really hard to open. It's almost like it doesn't fit, but if you keep working it, it'll open. Wow, that was, uh, that's what she said. Now, when lubing these, I didn't do anything special. Just the normal routine. Use Crytox 205G from Kinetic Labs. Link in the description. Did the bottom housing and the stem with the brush. And the springs I bagged lubed, which definitely saves some time. And after an hour and a half, we can put them all back together. Please make sure to subscribe and like the video. This is a lot of effort for a 5 to 10 minute video. These feels really smooth after lubing. I did have to re-lube some of the springs. I think it was like four to five different switches I had to. Uh, because I kept hearing that spring ping. Which probably was because I took the easy way out with bag lubing. But after that and all that was done, I mean it was a great time. Now let's throw on some keycaps so we can hear that sound test. Now first, I want to take a step back and appreciate the keycaps. These are also from Akko and I will have a link in the description. But these are not Cherry, they are ASA Profile which we are going to be looking at cherry profiles. I just wanted to, I really just wanted a reason to use these. I mean, dude, they look so good. They are the red and blue samurai keycaps from Akko. And this is what the red looks like as well. They're double shot PBT and feel really premium. But anyways, first we're going to listen to the silver switches lubed with the brass plate with ASA keycaps.
Now here are some cherry profile keycaps from Akko as well. Now let's look at the polycarbonate plate to see what that sounds like. Now my final thoughts on these switches. I love them, if you couldn't tell. I genuinely think these are gonna be my main go-to switches. It's funny because I usually hate silver switches. Silver is what all the companies use for their gaming department. But I don't know, man, just something about these, just, I mean, it's different, man. It's just nice. I wanna say that we just hit 10,000 subscribers and I'm really thankful for all you that watch my videos and the shorts and all you that subscribed. It means a lot to me, you, I mean, you have no idea, so thank you. That is it for the Akko Silver CS switches. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Um, once again, thank you everyone that does subscribe and like the video. Let me know if you, what you thought about these and if you like this style of video, if you made it this far. And yeah, I mean, that's the end of the video. Uh, hopefully, I'll see you in the next one.